to get the list of participants from a regular Zoom meeting, not the Zoom webinar. So Zoom is this powerful and affordable video communication platform that you can use from one-on-one meetings. Uh, and for the one-on-one meetings, you even can use just a free account to group calls and small webinars. I use this in my business all the time. And if you want to follow up with the participants on one of these group calls or small webinars, you can do it even if you send just the link for them to connect and they don't have to register in the webinar. So you just know how to know how to do this. And I'm going to show you how easy it is when you know how. So the first thing you have to go to zoom.us where you can log into your account, even the free account. So zoom.us, you will see my account there at the top. And you can log in if you are not logged in yet. So let me go back here. If I sign out there, in this case, I was already logged in, but I'm going to sign up and you'll see here, sign in. I click there on the sign in. Uh, I enter my e email and password and I sign in. So you have to log into your account and then you have to look here on the column on the left and the account management here this one account management you click there and then you look for the reports you go to the reports so and the account management in administration select reports and then make sure that you have the usage reports here selected in blue with a line below great and now go to and select active hosts click there on active hosts now you will see here a list of the meetings sometimes you have to play with the dates the search criteria uh, here at the top and and they have the report just for the last month uh, and uh, uh, also notice that the information has ended at least 30 minutes ago so if you just have finished, sometimes you have to wait a little bit. But when you are here, so I repeat administration, account management, reports, uh, uses the reports by and the year you have to be on active hosts. And then you will see here my by meetings. You find the meeting that you want to know the participants and you can see it here, the topic, the name, the meeting, the meeting ID, username, uh, and then uh, if there was Zoom rooms, the creation and when it starts and when it ends. And here and the participants, you can see that there is blue, the color blue. So if I want to know, in this case, I can click just there on the number and that will upload here the participants in this meeting, uh, how long they were, the, even what they call the attentiveness score. So I can go there and then click export. And this will download in my computer uh, Excel spreadsheet that gives me all the that information. So I'm going to go here, going to open it. In this case, in my computer, because it's a Mac, is opening it using numbers. And here, but you can do very similar with Excel. That was only I prefer. But then you can order them by alphabetical order if you want, uh, or by the time to see who stay longer in the call. Um, or, so you can organize or by any of this information you can do it and uh, uh, let me this one will make more sense for instance uh, putting the sending so from a hundred so you can focus on the people that were more attentive or the people that uh, um, spend more time on the call okay so this can be extremely helpful and 
is easy peasy lemon squeezy when you know how. And if you are a member of Tech Tips for Coaches, you have detailed tutorials with step-by-step -step instructions and screenshots on how to do this and many, many other resources there. Learn, impact, and enjoy. This is Anna Malikian, the founder of techtipforcoaches.com.